Good evening. Francis Lang pleaded guilty but mentally ill today to three counts of murder and two counts of aggravated assault in the Scotland triple homicide case. On the night beat, Kettle Lands Carter Schmidt recaps what played out in a Bonham County courtroom. Francis Lang returned to court today for a change of plea hearing. He originally pleaded not guilty and the case was set for a jury trial in Yankton County later this summer. However, this afternoon, 43-year-old Lang admitted that he went into a Scotland home on November 9th, 2021 and shot everyone inside. Lang fired 12 shots with a handgun before leaving it in a nearby yard. According to court papers, he killed his former girlfriend Angela Monclova, as well as Labrado Monclova and Diane Atkins. Two others, including a five-year-old girl, were also injured in the shooting. Our thoughts and prayers go to the victims, especially the five-year-old little girl that was seriously injured in the incident. Josette Lindahl, a psychiatrist for Rivera Behavioral Health, testified at today's hearing. Lindahl said she met with Lang three times for mental illness evaluation and diagnosed him with schizoaffective disorder. She added that alcohol and other substances make symptoms worse, which Lang was under the influence of when the homicide happened. Attorney General Marty Jackley says the guilty but mentally ill plea is the same as a guilty plea with one exception. He will still face three mandatory life without the chance of parole sentences as well as the additional 30 years for the ag assaults. The only difference that plea does again carry is that he will have further evaluation while incarcerated for mental illness and will receive appropriate treatment from the Department of Corrections. Jackley commends the work of paramedics, law enforcement, and investigators from the day the crimes happened to now. This was a local effort of the sheriff, the state's attorney, working with the attorney general to achieve the result, to, receive, to, to achieve some justice for the victims' families today. In Tyndall, Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. Now, prosecutors have said that they will not seek the death penalty in the case, which was a decision originally made by the former attorney general. A sentencing hearing for Lang will be held on July 24th.